So in this video we will see how to use the lens panel in Mocha Pro to remove any type of lens distortion very easily. So without wasting further time, let's jump right into the topic. So first make a new composition with your clip and go to effects and presets and search for Mocha Pro effect and drag it into your clip. After that click the small Mocha Pro icon to launch the plugin. So after opening the Mocha Pro you have to come to the lens panel where we will be spending most of our time to undistort our footage. So most of the time I come to the clip option and change the host format to the frames for the ease of work. And after coming into the lens panel in the latest version of Mocha Pro you will see a new option called use plans which we will discuss later in this part of video how to use. So as a first step to remove your distortion if you have any type of ST maps or distortion maps uh, you can just directly in, uh, import it into the dis uh, distortion map panel and you can remove it within no time. And if you are not familiar with the distortion and don't know what type of distortion is in the footage, first you have to click the locate lines and the Mocha Pro will analyze the footage and create lines on the textured part of this video. If you want you can still adjust the length of the lines so that you can uh, select the longest one or the smallest one. For this one I am going to uh, change it to zero and you can see all of the lines details are here. If you want you can just go to any of the frames in the video and click locate uh, and click locate lines and it will locate lines on that part of the video. For this one I am going to the first frame and I will select this as a reference frame. So as a first step to remove your distortion, first you have to select the lines. The lines, you have to select the lines in the sense that you have to select the lines in a order which would have been straight if the video wasn't distorted. For this one I am going to select this vertical line and the vertical lines from this side and some of the horizontal lines too. So before you start selecting any lines you have to click the new line uh, option and after clicking the new line option you can start selecting the lines. And after completing each set of line you have to click the new line uh, option one more time to start selecting different set of lines. And you can see I have selected all of the lines that would have been straight. And after selecting all of the lines, just click new line just for uh, just for making sure uh, it's not uh, unselected. And after selecting all of the lines, you can see uh, you will see an option called no distortion and uh, the calibrate option. And in in that drop down menu, you will see various different types of uh, distortions. If you're not familiar with the type of distortions, I'll show you some pictures on the screens. These are the type of distortion that you'll get in the lenses. And still you are not familiar with the lens or not getting any idea about the distortion in your footage. You can just go with the trial and error method and select one by one and see which one suits the best for you. For this one I'm uh, going with the trial and error and most of the times the one parameter will uh, work for your footage. I'll just select the one parameter option. And you will see two new options called Equidistant Lines and Calibrate Center. You can just leave it unselected or on default and it will work uh, perfect. After selecting the distortion, you can just click Calibrate option. And after calibrating, you can just click Render. And after clicking the Render option, you can see the one parameter has removed most of the distortion in our video. But it's not perfect. Now let's go to the two parameter and click Calibrate. And you can see the two parameters just failed. So now I'm going to skip the one parameter invert and directly going to the anamorphic uh, distortion. And in this one, let me click the calibrate option. And you can see it has uh, successfully calibrated. And now let's click the render option. And you can see the anamorphic uh, distortion worked best for us. You can see the footage is now uh, straight without any type of distortion. And you can see the lines we have selected is now straight. So if you want you can just uh, select all of this data and keep a copy of it. So if you accidentally made any changes you can just revert it back easily. And you can also see one more option called distort. After clicking the distort if we click the render option. The Mocha Pro will just uh, distort the footage two times. And that is not going to work uh, best for us. We will just change back to undistort and click render. And if you are just undistorting the footage just for the purpose of getting uh, undistorted output. This is where you have to end uh, your process in Mocha Pro and you can just save it from here and just go to After Effects directly and just click module renders, select the undistort lens and you can just render your output and you are good to go. And in a different scenario if you are just undistorting your footage to get a perfect tracking or to insert a logo, you can just come to the tracking panel and click the spline tool. You might have noticed that after selecting the spline tool the video just turned back to its raw format and that is totally fine. 
and now I'm going to select a particular area to begin the tracking. And in this one, you can clearly see a subtle distortion that is applied to the video because it has changed back to its raw format. And that is totally fine as it uh, said earlier. Now let's select the screen option and place the screen where you have to insert uh, your image or footage or whatever. And after that, this is the main part, you have to turn on the grid. And after turning on the grid, you can see our distortion has been applied to the layer. The undistortion data from the lens tab has been removed from our main footage, but has been applied to the layer and has been applied to the screen and grid. This is where Mocha Pro come in clutch and do all the work for us by itself. The Mocha Pro just undistorts the footage and uses that particular data and applies it to that particular layer. So that when we go to After Effects, we don't have to first like undistort the footage, then add the logo, then distort it again. The Mocha Pro just do it everything for us by itself. Now that we can see our undistortion data has been applied, we can just hide the grid layer and just uh, select the perspective option track and track it forward okay we'll just uh, keep the tracking until here because this is just for the purpose of demonstration and you can see our tracking is being uh, perfectly aligned without any drift or anything now let's come to the insert panel and insert the basic mocha pro logo from here if you want you can still make changes to the uh, screen option it is not going to be changing any other data or anything now our work in Mocha Pro is pretty much done and now let's save the Mocha Pro and come back to After Effects. And as I said earlier, if your main purpose of undistorting footage was to get an undistorted output, you can just click render and you will see the undistorted footage and you can just come to the render queue or whatever and export your footage. And in the second scenario, if you are doing this for the purpose of tracking, for the purpose of like uh, creating rotoscoping or anything or just adding logo, you can just click the render option and come to the insert composite. And you can see our logo has been applied to our footage with the lens distortion data. That means the distortion has been applied to the picture or the insert layer. And when we uh, play it forward, you can see our logo is being sticked perfectly with the distortion. And I'll show you the uh, difference between the undistorted uh, logo and the distorted logo. Let's duplicate this footage by pressing Ctrl D. Open the Mocha Pro or plug in in the duplicated layer. And inside the duplicated Mocha Pro plugin, let's come back to the lens panel and just disable or just uh, uncheck the enable distortion option and uh, save the Mocha Pro. And let's come back to the After Effects. And because it was a copy, the uh, module render is already there. And now let's change it to uh, insert cutout so that only our logo is in the duplicated layer. And after that, let me change the duplicated layer to difference to show you the change or show you the difference. Now in the first frame, it is looking perfect. But when we uh, play it forward, you can see, you can see a little bit difference in the logo. You can see it uh, more perfectly when I change to normal and hide and unhide this layer. You can see the subtle changes that is taking place. That is because the duplicated footage and the duplicated insert uh, element, it is not having the distortion data that is causing this effect. Because we only made a little bit of the tracking, we won't be uh, seeing much of the changes. But as we go further forward, we might see a huge change in the inserted uh, picture. And that was the use of Mocha Pro lens panel to undistort footage and also to insert any of your image or video with the uh, distortion data without affecting the main footage. And as I said earlier, if you have any of ST maps or distortion maps, you can use it directly and remove the distortion without doing the lines and stuffs. Now I'm going to show you how to use the spline tool to remove the dis uh, distortion like we done it uh, in the locate lines. Now that we have inserted the Mocha Pro, as usual, let's come back to the lens panel. And make sure, and this time make sure that you select the use spline tool option. Click the explain tool and select the lines that would have been straight. This time you have to create the uh, lines using the explain tool and not the select. And after creating the line, you have to select the parameter and click calibrate. And after clicking the calibrate, you have to just click the render option. And because this was just a demonstration purpose, I already created one line and you can see the result is like this. 
if you uh, if you want a perfect result you can just uh, go back to no distortion just go back to unselected and create more explains and after that click calibrate okay the anamorphic one has been calibrated let's click render and like that you can see our footage has been undistorted using this spline tool not with the locate lens but with this spline tool and if you're using the mocha pro standalone version i assume you won't be having the save button so you have to click the export lens data option and un under the format option you have to click the mocha lens for after effects which will uh, give you the option to copy this uh, lens distortion to the uh, uh, clipboard and you can just paste it inside the after effects or if you want to use it in any other uh, in any of the other host you can choose the mocha xml lens data option and you can just copy it from here and paste it any way you want and that's it and also if you want you can just copy the lens distortion data from here and you can use it into any of the other host if you just use the mocha pro in that host if you want you can just copy it from here and paste it there you will get the same data there also and that was all about this part of the mocha pro series of how to remove distortion from any distorted footages hope you all have gained something from this and have understood how to remove distortion from your footage inside the mocha pro and so that was all for today guys if you have any doubt questions or feedback don't hesitate to comment down below because i'll be checking each and every comment and will be replying to everyone and if you find this video useful please make sure to drop a like and subscribe this channel and you will be the first one to watch the video when a new video uploads and if you want to buy the mocha pro or any other boris fx uh, plugins the link is in the description and by using the link in the description you will get flat 15% off on all your purchases and that was all for today guys so see you in the next part of the mocha pro series until then have a creative day it's me pixel creations signing out